Hey everyone, it's Kelly Schneider again, and you've hit a special episode of What's Up Peoria. I've got some super special guests. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I know, super right? Special. Super, super special. Yeah. So we've got yeah, Greg Batten over here everybody, and Matt Stein, Blindstein TV. comedian. Blindstein. That's right. And they're here to tell us a little bit about the upcoming shows that they've got. As you can see, they're very important and have a poster. <gasps> Oh, I'm just gonna leave beautiful. The, I'm going to leave it here for the rest of the episode. That's, that's he won't perfect. even know. That's no, no problem. At all. <laughs> <laughs> he won't even know. Uh, always the butt end of a joke. Well, yeah. you know, it's okay. Such is life. Such is life. All right. So I was curious about how you guys came together to do a show. Like, how did this happen? Well, I have this uh, mind blowing fact. I'm ready for that, this. That uh, I said it off the air a minute ago, and, and uh, Matt didn't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm deaf, deaf too. Yeah. Five, <laughs> five minutes ago when we sat down in front of this camera. Five minutes ago when we sat down in front of this camera is the first time we've ever met. Yep. Oh. Never met the guy before. No. Wow. We have spoken to each other. Oh. See, I told you it was mind-blowing. Yeah. Uh, we've talked to each other over the years, uh, and he called me, what, a couple months ago or something? Yeah, about and two months this ago. Idea. Yeah, yeah because uh, uh, Chris Spire out at Mason City Limits was... Uh, was telling me that, that we needed to get together and, you know, figured why not get two Peoria powerhouses and just... Peoria powerhouses. Power. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you, you have the voice of command and I've just been <laughs> homeless roaming the streets for seven years so we people know who it. I am. Yeah. It is kind of a dream come true to me uh, <laughs> yeah. to, to do a show with a homeless guy. Yeah. yeah. I really wanted That's to do that. That's a whole new thing. I yeah. prefer to be called America's roommate. Oh, you know? sure. yeah. nice. got it on his America's yeah. roommate. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Shower gypsy. You know, right. Gypsy. I have not heard that one. Professional urban camper. Nice. Yeah, very yeah, good. Nice. Very, uh, so yeah, he said good. yes. I, I know uh, him by reputation, and, and uh, who doesn't? Right. And oh, yeah. uh, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be cool to do. And I love, love what we're doing at the Apollo Theater. Is Absolutely. Gorgeous. I this love is, that place. Yeah, that's gonna be great. A lot of steps. Pretty dangerous. Not for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just you. Yeah. Just kidding. All you right. Get, hey, can I ask something? Yeah. You get tired of those? No, okay, I mean, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got a ton of them. So yeah. he started it, you know, like when I first met Matt, which is about almost seven years ago now, like he was the one who was like, well, I didn't see it. Like that guy right there. Yeah. That's yeah. Funny. He, he left me a mos uh, message the other day about this, this taping. And he said, uh, I'll hear you on Thursday. Yep. That's yeah. I've told that joke that four people, only one of them got it. Yeah. What's well, the matter with people? Well, I love how people... I love how when I say that to people, they're like, so, so I'll hear you. It's like, well, hell, I hope you see me. Like, I don't want, I don't want this to be contagious, you know? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you stop seeing me, this is a problem. Well, yeah. it's a problem yeah. for them, I guess. Yeah. But. but it will help you sneak into their house and sleep in their basement more. Yeah. If they I, can't see you. I am a professional As couch crasher. over right. everything <laughs> on the oh, way. Yeah. Like, yeah. absolutely. I, I got those Muay Thai shins from just kicking coffee tables. So, <laughs> Is it a coincidence that you've been homeless seven years and you met him seven years ago is that is there anything to do to with that person? uh i don't think that so didn't, like bad mojo I or something like, like that no Juju or no because okay. right. i'm i've got a house so. okay yeah. um, in fact he's <laughs> i've slept on the couch yeah, 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 he's, yeah. he's okay. been okay. there my he's body is shower in, gypsy there yeah, yeah he he knows exactly where everything in the yeah. house is he knows I, how yeah, to I, do for that i can cook coffee steal cookies like the whole that nine is, years. Unless I'm there. Unless she's yeah. there to protect. Yeah, that is super creepy. On um, all of us. No. Well, okay. So this one day, this one day he came over yeah. and he'd made me really mad. And so I opened the door and I was like, I moved all the furniture. And uh -oh, then I left. There we go. And he was walking I, around I like, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. It was great. That I didn't move funny. anything. Yeah. I really can't. Yeah. I don't that have space is super for that. Funny. But yeah, she had me she had me wondering for about 15 minutes. Yeah. So don't Cause... ever make me mad. Okay. I mean, well, you right. might be able to. Yeah. You can see. I can see stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But... but I did live in like the retail world for a while. So I did? Yeah, go by the, if you break it, you buy it kind of mentality. <laughs> so I, it's like, ah, I'm homeless. I can't afford to replace stuff. And I got to go around stealing things from, from Target. <laughs> All right. So, Matt, I, I mean, before we talk about the big Apollo show, you've got a couple things coming up, right? Yeah. Uh, next week, uh, starting after St. Patrick's Day, we are doing our ticket giveaway. So online, uh, Hat Ads every Tuesday gives away something. So we're going to do like a local giveaway packet, which will be 
two Blindstein and Greg Batten tickets with a Blindstein t-shirt, a Butch's pizza, and a bag of kitchen cooked chips. Ooh. So all local stuff. Yeah, that's um, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, all you got to do is just go to their uh, go to their Facebook page, and then when they post up the giveaway, you just like, share, and comment. Mm-hmm. Um, get you in the drawing for that. On Wednesday next week, on the 20th, we'll be at uh, W.E. Sullivan's Irish Pub, which is one of our exclusive ticket pickup locations. Mm-hmm. Um, I will be there with C.T. and uh, also Chris Tarpley, the piano man, will be playing. Oh, great. Um, and so from 7 to 9, we'll be giving away Blindstein merchandise and uh, pairs of tickets about every 45 minutes or at about every hour or so. I should have worn my Blindstein shirt or yeah. one of the, I don't one know, of the like many that are, that yeah. I have. Uh, yeah, I'm a big I, supporter. Yeah, that's how I pay, that's how I pay couch rent. <laughs> yeah, couch rent. It's a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. And t-shirt. Red t-shirt. t-shirts, yeah. yeah she's easy to please sometimes. It's that's true. Why. I really, yeah, you've seen me, I'm just like, yeah, everything's yeah. great. Um, <laughs> and then on Thursday, the 21st, we'll be out at our other ticket location for pickup uh, out at Olympia Sports Bar and Grill. Uh, once again, I'll be out there with uh, the radio station giving away just a bunch of their like random swag, Blindstein uh, merchandise and tickets, and that'll be from 7 to 9 as well. So and They've got delicious food there, too. Yeah, so really you, good gyros. I mean, you've and, picked some really good spots to get some good stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't drink anymore, so I'm all about the food. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm all about the food anyway. Just always have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Here's the awkward pause part. I'm still drinking. Yeah. Okay. Well, just, I just want to throw that well, in. Yeah. To no, establish, I too. establish whatever I rules we're going to have here. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but there, it, there will just not don't be get him any, anything other than like non-alcoholic. Yeah. Okay. There, there will not be any booze at the Apollo Theater. They don't have a liquor license. Yeah, they don't. It, that's always been weird for them. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah. but to be honest, I doubt anyone will be patting anyone down. Do with that with what, what you, you will. I did, I did, you know, I did. I did. I, I did a, a take. I did. A, I did one of those takes where I looked over at the camera. Okay, okay, we all did. Okay, well, I mean, and, I, and I put my glasses. I hope. I'm, I hope. I'm, I'm yeah. hope you put me yeah. in front of it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys got two cross cameras going. Right. I'm not even in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So tell us about your show then. So we got it. Yeah, show uh, coming up April 5th. Uh, we actually have a pretty pretty uh, collective uh, group coming up. Uh, our host on the show is going to be Eddie P. Eddie P. The uh, Kung Fu comic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 oh, my gosh. I think I have one of his shirts. You probably. You probably boy, probably. I'm going to have to get you a shirt because I don't want to be left do. out. Yeah. I love I don't want to be left out of this whole scenario. Yeah. Eddie really P's great. Yeah. I love him. I love yeah, him. yeah a, lot, a lot of energy. Super hilarious. I mean, he's going to do a great job keeping the, keeping the night flowing and going. Cool. Um, and then uh, prior, we're going to have a couple guest guest spots from some local Peoria uh, comics that are just kind of all starting out and coming up. Um, Austin Gudar, uh, very, very funny dude. Matt Colgan, uh, Betsy Edwards, and also uh, Autumn McGowan. So oh, cool. you'll have a nice little mix of, of them running kind of five to seven minutes on the front end and kind of getting able to perform in front of a little bit bigger crowd and having having some stage time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they're they're called underground comedy, right? Yeah, the Betsy started underground comedy okay, and so uh, she um, yeah, she does some like basement shows and stuff and just like random stuff around here. They just did a show uh, at Tannen Hops last oh, Sunday. Right. So I mean, yeah, they're kind of helping to to expand the comedy scene here in Peoria a little would be bit. That's awesome. Which everybody which needs a laugh. Definitely needs to happen. Yeah. So uh, and yeah, so they'll be they'll be kind of warming up the stage for uh for this uh this big old hunk, hunk of stud meat Uncle over here. Yeah. Uncle man. Yeah, I, I already has great shoulders. I do have great shoulders. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> Look at those. Those are awesome. Lovely shoulders yeah. right yeah. there. No pads in that jacket. No, not at all. That's 100% <laughs> big bone. <laughs> Big shoulder bone. Big bones. shoulder bone. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll let this guy toot his own horn because, I mean, yeah, like... I, toot away. Well, here's my deal. Uh, by day, my day job is to host the morning show on WMD. If you WMD, haven't heard it, right? I don't know what you're doing. Uh, the Greg and Dan show, which we, uh, me and Dan, my partner, radio partner, I think is uh, relatively funny. Yeah, I think it's hilarious. it's hilarious. Most people that I... Uh, now, we do serious stuff, too, but we, we try to sprinkle it in. Uh, and five or six years ago, uh, at a benefit for the... Um, Victims of the tornado in Washington. Oh yeah. Uh, somebody asked me to do ten minutes on stage, and I'd always wanted to do that. I wish I had done this thirty years ago, um, and I really enjoy doing it. It's not that much different than doing what I do on the radio, except you have immediate feedback. Right. And, and where when I'm on the radio, and you say something you think's hilarious, and and Dan and I actually don't laugh out loud to each other very often. Really? We, uh, we've been around each other long enough. We're like we we oh. know it's funny or we know it's not funny. It would be extraordinary to to get a big laugh out of each other. So, but to have that in an audience, as as Matt knows, is uh, it's electric. Yes, and, it is. and so, 
uh, and it's also you have no place to go. If you mess it up, if you mess it up, you mess it up. And so uh, the stuff I do is uh, I don't do anything political. I don't know if you don't do anything no, political. No. Uh, I, I talk about my family. I talk about being an older dad. I talk about uh, being married to my wife. I talk about um, uh, work stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I really like uh, to bring like an opportunity to to teach things. And I don't mean that in a boring way. I mean it's like like crazy <laughs> stuff. Like crazy stuff. Like, uh, well, you'll see when you come, when you come, but it, it's a learning moment. Comedy's learning. <laughs> Comedy's learning. Oh, I didn't know that. And then hilarious punchline. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. And I'm more of a, and I'm more of a storyteller kind of comic Good. than, uh, than a set up punchline guy. Um, I've tried, I've tried both, but my natural okay. person is, sure. I like to tell stories. You gotta just do you. Yeah. You gotta yeah. just do yeah. you. Write that on a t-shirt yeah. and give it yeah. to her. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Somebody. Well, and, well and, and now I know if I ever bomb, I can just like, oh, I'm just on the radio right now. Right. Just yeah. pretend you're on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do that too. <laughs> yeah. Except for then I if nobody, and laugh at myself. Yeah. So. <laughs> like every episode. So. But so it'll, it'll be a blast. Uh, and, and there's nothing like coming out on a Friday night in downtown Peoria. I mm -hmm. love Peoria. And I think we all have, I think the arts as a whole, whether it's comedy or music or it's dance or, or fine arts, all of that stuff, we have something spectacular here. We do. And, and we're we not really appreciating do. it enough, but let's blow it up. Yeah. Why don't we blow this up, man? Yeah. And I mean, it, it, start yeah. right here right. at the Apollo Theater. Yeah, it's perfect. You know, April 5th is the first Friday, so you can come down and kind Oh, of, that's right. Yeah, just get, breeze it out. And then afterwards, after you get done walking your legs, go sit in a nice, Nice. I don't know if they're comfortable or not. I've never sat in the theater chairs, yeah. but like, <laughs> but come sit in the theater chair. Because yeah. 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 they're, they're they're circa 1920. They're a little old. Yeah. So oh, yeah. No, that used nostalgia. to be the that used to be the the balcony. Yeah. That was the balcony I, I of heard the old this. theater. Wow. Now, did you say br I'm supposed to breeze it out? Because I don't. <laughs> that's what you said. You're gonna breeze it out. That sounds illegal. <laughs> I don't think you should breeze it out. I think you Do should with keep. That I think you should keep whatever's on. <laughs> on. I don't. I don't. I don't. We're not giving you permission to breeze it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But I think what he was really meaning was go to the fine arts okay. stuff for the first Friday and then and then come, come down relax. to the oh after after like yeah. oh I got gotcha. you yeah go to fine arts yeah. have a yeah. glass of wine yeah. or two yeah. yeah come on down to the yeah. Apollo yeah. after because we don't walk, start so yeah yeah walk the waterfront and yeah, then, yeah 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 what time do we start uh, doors open at seven show starts at seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know, and so, uh, yeah, and like I said, show will run till probably nine, nine thirty-ish, depending on on how we're flowing and rolling. Yeah. You know? Sometimes it's hard to stop. Yeah. Well, it's like sometimes some people just need to know when to stop too. You know. You look at me. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know. I do have that problem. I do have that problem. I'm not kidding you. I start going, and I'm like, oh, I am way past my time, yeah. which comedians yeah. do not like. Is that oh, why no. you talk to my boss for twenty minutes? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw uh, uh, Mary Lee at the grocery store. Uh, and I talked to her for 20 minutes because I am a talker, man. I will yeah. go. This show right here is going to last about an hour. Well, I mean, when I, when I first started off in stand up and they, you know, they give you the light, it's yeah, just kind of. Yeah. What's yeah. that? How do you do that? Yeah. How do you handle that? Does somebody say something to you? Or do you no, have an internal clock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just get, you know, the shepherd's yeah. hook comes through and just pulls me off. <laughs> No, uh, for the longest time, I used to have uh, have them bring shots of booze up to me, so I knew how long I'd been on stage. That's a great yeah. move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But then I bring you shots of water. Yeah, but, but then it created a huge <laughs> drinking problem. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you still didn't leave. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not leaving. I get three more they, of those. They keep bringing free booze up every 20 minutes. Why would I get off stage? Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. That's hilarious. So, all right. So you can get your tickets in advance. And when does advance? Oh, obviously at the door. Before you, the show, you can get your tickets yep. for $15. Or if you don't do that, you can still get tickets at the door, maybe, uh, for $20. Yeah. So why risk it? Go ahead and get your tickets now. Um, yeah, I think we're already about a third of the way sold. Oh, get your tickets so, now. Like, yeah, let's sell yeah, this out. Yeah. That's a nice, uh, uh, was it, 150 Twenty hundred thirty. One hundred and fifty-five seat in the theater, yeah. and then uh, and then of course you have the the, the back the, the back balcony room that if, if we have to open that up, yeah, I that's think a, that can hold that'd be a nice nice crowd. Yeah, yeah. 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 So if yeah, you get two hundred twenty-five people yeah. and and laughing, I mean, well, we'd probably have to turn that's up our the job. PA a little bit. That's yeah. our job. Yeah. 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 So let's do this. Let's really blow up the you know the cool comic scene here in yeah. Peoria. Show some support to our local people and. Yeah, Joe Stam sold out the Apollo what in like four hours. You know, yeah. and he's not even from Peoria. He's from Metamora. You right. know, like, right. so. and I heard he's not even funny. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. What about that? <laughs> yeah. A great musician. No. Yeah. <laughs> not, notwithstanding, but the guy is not hilarious. 
<laughs> but you guys are, so I think this is going to uh, be good. We hope so. Yeah, yeah no, it's going to be fun. I hope yeah, everybody really comes hope. out. Yeah, so I, th I think we got it. For, with the lineup we have, we kind of got, I mean, because I'm a little bit more blue, and you just kind of go life story-wise, so kind of from degenerate to geriatrics, I think we got everyone Wait covered. Wait, hold, of, hold so. the damn phone. <laughs> One, how do you know I'm not blue? I mean, I'm... I how mean, do you know I'm not I, blue? Well, you're not holding your breath. Yeah, so we got I that going. I can tell you, though, Matt. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. Well, I think not you right guys, now, but I think you guys yeah. should come and see if I do if I do dirty stuff. <laughs> yeah. I well, think you like, should. I think you should come. Well, I mean, I've I've done shows at nursing yeah. homes, you know. So I mean, I can. Well, I, those people love dirty jokes. Oh, I mean, it, that's it's actually best. surprising. <laughs> no, I know. No, I'm a hundred percent not joking about that. That's a welcome change to the day. They would love that. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We we hope everybody comes. Yeah, young, young and old. You, yeah. you have to be 21, right? Uh, no, because there's no boozer. Oh. You, well, all all ages. I mean, uh, let's not call it uh, all ages. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's well, call it. I not want to come under eighteen. Yeah, right. eight, eighteen. I still yeah. haven't let my uh, nineteen-year-old see me yet. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, though. I'm you know not that? sure your kids should ever see you. Yeah. Why is what, what? What's the reason? Yeah, I talk about stuff I don't want her to hear. About. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want her just, to hear it. Just cr <laughs> just crush her self-esteem. <laughs> right. She's half. I don't want to ruin her. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. All right, when, uh, tell us about where we can get tickets then, real quick. So um, we got Sullivan's. Yeah, Sullivan's over in the Heights. You have uh, Olympia Sports Bar and Grill out on North Prospect. Uh, you have Haddad's West Peoria Market over on Roman in West Peoria. Uh, otherwise, if you know any of the comics, uh, hit them up, and they're, they're all hand hustling tickets as well too. So. Nice. Um, but yeah, ultimate goal, you know, stop on in, grab some food, grab some booze or grab some groceries and, uh, pick up your, uh, Blind Stein and Greg Batten tickets. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a winner. It's an all in one stop. Yeah. Yeah. So anything else to add real quick and. Not that I can think of. Let's sit here awkwardly. Uh, we will have. Let's sit. There will be, we will have like, uh, soft drinks and okay. stuff there. So, so you won't go thirsty. Yeah. We'll have, we'll have canned soda. We'll have alcohol. Yeah. We'll have canned soda. Know. We'll be selling, uh, cups of ice by themselves. Five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can you get a hey, refill on hey, ice if you buy we, the first cup? Can we, can we end this by doing one of those, uh, awkward, uh, like freeze frames, but we don't really freeze it? Yeah. Can we we do that? That'd be fun. All right. PeoriaLife.com. <laughs> All right. <laughs>